Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose report for this week. No, not last week. That was last week. WWE issued the following press release this morning. Astronaut Buzz Aldridge to host commercial free WWE Raw Monday night. Uh, USA Network and uh, WWE, it says, announced today that uh, Pioneer Apollo astronaut uh, Buzz Aldridge will host a special two-hour commercial-free episode Monday Night Raw from live from the Air Canada Center uh, in Toronto, Ontario on May 17th, 9 p.m. Now, not tonight, next week. On the USA Network, Aldridge will appear uh, under his official WWE name, Rocket Hero. Who came up with that? Uh, actress Betty White's uh, Wikipedia page claims uh, that she will host Memorial Day edition of WWE Raw on May uh, 31st. The show is going to actually take place in Austin, Texas. Uh, Wikipedia is not the most reliable source in the world, uh, and <laughs> neither am I. Anyway, her SNL hosting gig came uh, after a grassroots campaign on her uh, on Facebook, I guess, to get her on there. And uh, the ratings came in good for uh, Saturday Night Live. WWE uh, Hall of Famer Jim Ross has updated his blog on the Barbecue website saying uh, comments about WWE's production values comparing it, it to UFC. Uh, Ross said that WWE has the production edge on UFC and WWE would have uh, uh, made the live event feel bigger than it did Saturday night. And uh, he said, I have to admit that the show when it came on the air that I was kind of jonesing uh, a bit from an adrenaline rush to feel, you know, the vent that uh, it gave me, but uh, I guess Ross was there. Not sure he didn't say anything, but he did any kind of on-air stuff. I thought he was going to. Anyway, cable, network, VH1, remember that? They used to play music on that long time ago. Uh, sent out the following press release over the weekend announcing that WWE superstar Chris Jericho will be hosting the second annual Revolver Golden Gold, Golden Golds Awards on Saturday, uh, May 22nd. The show is going to be honoring uh, excellence in the field of heavy metal music. Uh, F4W Online that said that uh, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top was in attendance for last night's WWE Raw in Jacksonville. WWE's hosted the show, you know, back, uh, I think they were about the second or third host, I believe. Uh, Molina noted on her Twitter account that her physical therapy is going well, but she doesn't know how much longer she's going to have to be out of the ring. Uh, her trainers feel it would take about uh, three or four more months to fully heal, but the uh, doctor said she could return in late June or July. I hope so. The New York Times ran a big article this weekend on WWE and their uh, celebrity guest host programs with quotes from uh, past hosts and WWE stars. In the article, uh, also, Triple H talked about the WWE PG product. He said, I've got young kids, he said. Boy, are we holier than thou now? Man, after having sex with corpse and all that. Uh, anyway, years ago, uh, we were what we were, and I certainly wouldn't want to have my kids watch that product. We've evolved. Well. After SNL uh, and the Goober star, Will Forte, uh, compared WWE to SNL, Stephanie McMahon made a reference to SNL creators Laura Michaels and uh, her father, Vince. Vince McMahon. Vince would uh, hate that I said this, uh, she said, but he and Laura Michaels are a lot alike. They both have a clear vision and they both know exactly uh, how they want you to execute it. The article also mentioned the previous reports about Buzz Aldridge and Holston on the 17th. Anyway, this past Thursday's uh, TNA Impact uh, scored a 0.71 cable rating with uh, 973,000 viewers. Eric Bischoff confirmed on Facebook this uh, year's TNA Hard Justice pay-per-view will take place August 8th, so please make a note of that. A title versus career match will take place at TNA Sacrifice pay-per-view with Madison Reigns defending against... TNA knockout champion uh, against Tara with her career on the line. As noted before, Tara is going to be leaving TNA after the contract expires just uh, days after sacrifice. So, do we know how the match is going to end? I guess. 
That was that ain't no spoiler. Anyway, uh, TNA uh, World Title Match is on that pay per view too. Uh, TNA versus uh, TNA, AJ uh, Styles versus Rob Van Dam. TNA X Division match is going to be uh, uh, Doug Williams uh, versus Kaz. TNA Tag Team Title match is going to be Shannon Moore and Jesse O'Neill versus Matt Morgan and a partner uh, to be picked by Hulk Hogan. They just can't get Hernandez to come back. I don't know what, or I mean, Homicide to come back. Uh, TNA versus uh, career match, Madison Reigns takes on Tara. Chelsea uh, versus uh, ring match is Desmond Wolf uh, taking on Abyss. And we got uh, Jeff Hardy taking on Mr. Anderson. We got Sting versus uh, Jeff Jarrett. Uh, by the way, Jeff Hardy was interviewed by TNA website by teen actor Boo Boo Stewart. Uh, anyway, read the full article. You've got to go to their website. But here's some of the highlights from it. Favorite match, uh, Jeff Hardy says, overall it would have been uh, WrestleMania 7 in Houston. Uh, it was the second I uh, TLC match and one where uh, Edge Spear being was hanging from the belt off the hook of the ring. <coughs> it kind of choked me up even when I watched it. Uh, Favorite uh, TNA match, uh, and TNA has been definitely the monster's ball from the ever uh, Bound for Glory match in 2005. It was me and Abyss, Rhino, and Sabu. Uh, both of those matches were uh, matches with stipulations. You want to know the favorite regular match of all time? It was the Great American Bash 2008 with Umaga. I never would have thought of that. His dream match, it would be the, uh, the charismatic. Enigma Jeff Hardy against the Icon Sting in paint versus paint match. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the Crow version, he says, uh, instead of the current Sting. Uh, it's never happened before, but uh, never say never. Uh, his band, uh, Paroxy, uh, Jen, said, uh, wanting to know about that, he said, I haven't given up on the uh, name or you know specific type of music yet. Sometimes I refer to the poetry as emotionary uh, uh, Written emotion to the best to describe it. Combination of alternative rock and grunge metal, along with something else. ECW uh, regular Balls Mahoney made a surprise in ring. Uh, uh, he showed up at the Ring of Honor show, which I don't talk too much about that. I, don't, I really don't get it on our cable network. I'm going to try and get some of their matches, real good uh, pay per views and shows. Anyway, he showed up Saturday night in New York. Uh, DNAIndia.com had an article this week noting that the Great Kali is planning a wrestling school, uh, or planning on wrestling, my fault, for another six to seven years. Well, when's it going to start? Uh, the article also talks about uh, Kali wanting to build a wrestling school in his country to train wrestlers in the WWE style of wrestling. Uh, did somebody train him? I'm not sure. Damn. Anyway, tonight's Raw is going to be taking place at the Mellon Arena, Pittsburgh, uh, PA, with rapper and reality star Flava Flav. A special guest host confirming that tonight's show is John Cena revealing the stipulation for his match with Batista at Over the Limit. Uh, locally, uh, Cena and uh, Batista has been advertised for a dark match. I'll let you know how that comes out. It usually comes out in a disqualification. Uh, WWE is going to be announcing the stipulation, like I say, for Bettina, uh, Batista. Uh, <clears throat> and there's been some talk, internal talk, of making it, uh, of modifying even that. So we'll have to wait to see on that thing. Was Batista planning to embark on a hiatus from WWE over the, uh, after Over the Limits? Might about right around that time. Uh, the pay per view itself, or off TV at least, uh, for it might be his exit date. Uh, most believe the stipulation is going to be some sign of a loser leaves town match. Uh, Cena's obviously uh, will win the match, creating a storyline explanation on why Batista, uh, Batista took off. Don't want to hurt his feelings, but uh, undelay. Let somebody else come in. If you're tired of wrestling or whatever. Hey, uh, I got to go. <laughs>